In the heart of Karnataka is the district of Davanagere. It is a dry, dusty part of the Deccan Plateau. Davanagere, once called the Manchester of the East, is still a leading district in manufacturing and agricultural produce marketing. It has always been a hub of educational institutions. Renowned schools and colleges several decades old were truly a service center for knowledge. However, the hard-working, honest people of these areas had a desire to have their own independent university for a long time. In 1979, Mysore University established a postgraduate center in Davanagere. In 1987, Davanagere educational institutions were separated from Mysore University and made a part of Kuvempu University. The PG Center now became the PG Center of Kuvempu University. The desire of having an independent university in the minds of citizens and hearts of several visionaries and educationalists was not quenched yet. They wanted more from the educational center of their area. Keeping this in mind, Taranabalu Swamiji led the citizens in requesting the then Chief Minister, Mr. B.S. Yediurappa, for an independent university. The Honorable Chief Minister graciously accepted the request and the formation of a separate Davanagere University was announced immediately. Professor Indumati was appointed as the special officer. Her mandate was to facilitate the establishing of this university. The challenges before her were of mammoth proportions. But Professor Indumati was not one of those who would rest without facing the challenges mounting on her. Land required for the university had to be sourced, finances arranged, a strong faculty lined up and several facilities installed with lightning speed if the university had to start from the current academic year. With great efforts and sacrifices by people like Dr. Shamnur Shivashankarappa who led the Bapuji Educational Association and several other eminent personalities from society, Davanagere University started functioning. It had Davanagere and Chitradurga districts as its jurisdiction and was headquartered at Davanagere. The able leadership of Professor Indumati and unquestioned support from the staff made this possible in an unbelievably short time. Professor Indumati was appointed the first Vice-Chancellor of the University. At that time, she was the youngest Vice-Chancellor in Karnataka. Davanagere University opened up new horizons for people from the surrounding areas. It opened up several possibilities to students who were seeking a source of knowledge and guidance. With the able leadership of Professor Indumati and collective efforts from the staff, Davanagere University took its first steps. In the first year, direct admission of postgraduate students was done. Setting up of various sections of the university needed for administrative purposes amidst shortage of faculty and staff, conducting of examinations in the month of November 2009 on par with the parent university, getting urban power connectivity for the main campus, getting an ATM and extension counter of the State Bank of Mysore, recognition from the University Grants Commission for awarding degrees, and so on, were the work done in the very first year of the existence of Davanagere University. I did not think of the challenges in the beginning. I just accepted the responsibility and I took it up very seriously. I just started working rather than thinking of making it as a world-class university 
or trying to emulate the foreign university, it was not possible because it was not a reality. First, I looked to the problems, existing situation, and then we had to conduct examination. We took it up as a challenge and we did it successfully. We wanted infrastructure, so we worked towards it. We needed money, so we were able to mobilize the resources. And I was very particular about the syllabus change and we were able to bring it effectively uh, by giving nomenclature to every course that they go through in every program. In spite of a few road bumps, the coming years were only about sheer hard work from the staff and administration of Davanagere University with the leader, Professor Indumati, leading from the front. Davanagere University had a wonderful strong foundation upon which a strong knowledge center could be built. After I took over as the Vice Chancellor, I gave an open declaration stating that Davanagere University shall be corruption free. Everybody speaks about it as a problem and I took it as a challenge. I worked hard to see that it becomes a, a great reality. To a larger extent, I think we have been successful in that. The main campus of Davanagere University, Shiva Gangotri, is located at about 12 kilometers from Davanagere and 60 kilometers from Chitradurga. Davanagere University has revealed a distinctive academic profile, integrating excellence in higher education to fulfill the needs of the contemporary modern society and social ethos of the region. It has one constituent college, one autonomous college, and 112 affiliated colleges offering graduate and postgraduate courses in various disciplines catering to the educational needs of nearly 65,000 students. The university has four faculties, namely Arts, Science and Technology, Commerce and Management, and Education. It has 20 postgraduate departments of studies and research on the main campus, offering 21 postgraduate programs and one PG diploma course. In spite of all these achievements, Davanagere University is still very young. It is still being constructed brick by brick. With Professor Indumati serving her term as the Vice-Chancellor of the University, we can see the development in every one of its aspects. In every office I see uh, some of the furnitures being thrown outside, but we did not do that. All, almost all the furnitures have been repaired, almost all the old buildings have been repaired and they are put to reuse. The waste materials have been converted into assets in our University and out of which we have saved crores of rupees. And I would like to thank those workers who tried to clean our campus and give us a better atmosphere. Several buildings in the main campus are being built to serve the students better. A new library complex, a canteen, bank and post office section and several other facilities which are running in temporary shelters would soon be shifted to the dedicated buildings. I am very proud to say that this is one of the universities which has zero tolerance for corruption. The focus has been more on development of infrastructure and uh, uh, gathering uh, human resource for uh, the benefit of students. 
during the course of the last three years, we have tried to uh, implement certain best practices like uh, transparency in all our transactions, the teacher-student uh, uh, performance appraisals, and many are in the pipeline. We have started about 14 new departments. There are no permanent faculty there. We are managing with the help of guest faculty. And uh, even uh, the non-teaching staff are also required. And we have outsourced them through agency. Many luminaries have visited our uh, campus. Uh, to begin with, we had uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam in our university to interact with the students. Then followed by Shivaraj Patilji. Rangarajan, who is the chairman of the advisory council to the prime minister, and uh, Chadda and Sukhdev Thorat are former uh, chairpersons of UGC. Davangere University is really very privileged to have a vice chancellor of the caliber of uh, Professor S. Sindhumati. She is young, dynamic, and uh, uh, always uh, relentlessly pursuing uh, one task after another for the development of this university. The infrastructure development has been of very high quality and very uh, high speed and for the next 10 years I think uh, a very strong foundation has been laid. This marks the completion of one stage in your life and another is about to begin. But I am sure that with the value system and training that you have acquired in this university, you will be able to face the world with confidence. In Chitradurga, a sprawling campus of 81.2 acres is coming up to house the PG centers of Davanagere University. The ambitious campus, envisioned by Professor Indumati and her team, would shelter three PG departments offering seven PG programs and one PG diploma course. Vast playgrounds and other sports-related facilities, auditoriums and other such facilities to support things like cultural activities are being constructed to give the students of Davanagere University an all-round development. Immediately after the formation of Davanagere University on 18th August 2009, we launched to this preparation for the first semester examinations of PG as well as UG. For the first semester, we have taken the help of the Kumpu University only for the preparation of question paper. Second semester, we had our own Board of Examiners. Now around 60,000 UG students are there and nearly 3,000 PG students are there. And we have been able to conduct all exams as per the schedule. There were no postponements. Our strength is integrity. That the people who are working with me and the support what I got from the administration and its Vice Chancellor, it was our strength and our people they work for the betterment of the university and committed workers were there both permanent workers and outsourcing workers. That's why there was no leakage, there was no malpractice. This is all under the guidance of our Vice Chancellor. The university will be shortly introducing more interdisciplinary, job-oriented and socially relevant courses. The university intends to have an inclusive approach and enhanced quality in higher education. Continuing the tradition of Davanagere, the service of knowledge is the virtue of Davanagere University. The greatest satisfaction that I have had for the, regarding the work is relating to the syllabus uh, and getting the books printed, development of infrastructure facilities, setting up of PG Centre in Chitradurga and student strength has more than doubled in the university. We have stuck to the calendar of events. 
The approach would be to enhance knowledge generation and enable knowledge consumption, efficient knowledge integration and effective knowledge dissemination in order to produce the most competent youth force to meet the global challenges. The outgoing Vice-Chancellor of Davanagere University, Professor Indumati, today looks back at the work she and her team have achieved with great satisfaction. I can say I'm satisfied with the work I have done for the university. It was not just learning by doing, but it is leading the team by working. Maybe every day I have worked at least a minimum of 18 hours per day to this university. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to do so much of work. We have student population belonging to SC, ST, OBC and minority uh, to more than 60 to 70 percent. And of which, uh, of the total number, more than 50 percent are girls. So, we are trying to uh, reach out to the people. We are getting world-class or state-of-the-art infrastructure facilities in both the campuses. And the Pura concept of uh, Dr. Abdul Kalam is implemented here. Providing urban facilities in the rural areas, I think we have largely taken care of that. I do not want to compare our university with uh, highly established universities which have decades of history. If we take the history of any new university in the country, the development that has taken place, academic, infrastructure or the working atmosphere, honest and transparent administration, uh, it is uncomparable, I can say. I wish the university continues to function in the same transparent uh, way with honest administration. If two more vice chancellors work with so much, the same commitment as I have worked for this university and try to bring in qualitative changes in academics and uh, avoiding the entry of middlemen into this university, by 2020, our university may be considered as one of the best universities in the country. I would like to uh, pay my gratitude to the donors of the land, which include Dr. Shamlu Shivshankrappa and Rajanali Rama Nanda and the team. Thank the government, which supported us for the work, to Guruji and all the elders who supported me in my appointment. My special thanks are due to my husband and special thanks to Sri Yadurapa sir who gave me an opportunity to work for the society through this institution. The Chancellor of uh, our University and the Pro-Chancellors who all have been supporting my work for this university. There is still work to be done to build a better society in the areas around Davanagere University's jurisdiction. Today, Davanagere, the educational hub for a long time, has finally got its due and has a university to call its own. The knowledge center is growing fast and towards its full glory, bringing new hope to the youth of the region, thus building a stronger nation. <laughs>